interactive kiosk uh, coming now to the Miami neighborhood. It will offer a lot of options for pedestrians and local 10 news reporter Annalise Garcia has a story. So the plan is to have these kiosks all over this city, but the first four will be here in Wynwood. This is what they look like. You can do a lot with them. You can even take a selfie with them. It's warming up. There you go. You can go back home here and you can see there's eat and drink, get around events, everything that you can do in this area of Wynwood. Residents and visitors will be able to navigate, um, discover, um, access public transportation, access city services and social services, and learn all about everything that's on offer in Miami. City of Miami officials and the Ike Smart City team unveiling the first of many interactive kiosks called Ike. Right now, the first four kiosks are readily available in Wynwood. Eventually, these digital touchscreen kiosks will be all over the city of Miami. Pedestrians can just approach them and do some quick research on the area they're in with the touch of a finger. When you touch the screen, you launch the home screen. You can discover local restaurants, you can discover arts and culture, um, recreation, parks, public transportation, how to access food, shelter, and other social services, medical care. You can even take selfies with the kiosk and access real-time information on public transportation. Build a multimodal trip planning um, schedule that would include ride share, bike share, um, bus, rail. Today, the team who's been working on this launch for over a year cut a ribbon in front of their first kiosk. This one is on Northwest 24th Street in Winwood. So eventually, Ike plans on teaming up with applications so that you can even make reservations and that sort of thing here. Like I said, they'll plan to put these all over the city areas like Alapata, Coconut Grove, Brickell, downtown. So make sure to look out for these kiosks. I'm in Wynwood, Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News.